Welcome back to part two, our conversation with uh, DP, Ron Gonzalez. So, Ron, mm -hmm. what has been the most awesome shoot that you've ever been on? Not, not, not mine. I mean, you, you can exclude <sighs> mine from the list, but I mean like extraordinary. Um, gosh, there's, there's been a lot. Uh, recently, I, though, I've, I've been, I'm, I DP a show called Music Voyager. It's on PBS um, and Nat Geo. Um, and we, we get to go, you know, basically go all over the world. Um, and one of the last shoots I did was in Peru, and we went in the Amazon jungle. And we spent, you know, seven days down the Amazon just shooting all kinds of different things. And it was just, Peru is just an amazing uh, country in itself, but just the different topography and things to shoot, there's nothing. I mean, you point a camera and it's just gorgeous. And there's so much going on. So. That was probably uh, uh, the most fun I've had on a shoot, just because, I mean, you're 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 down in in the jungle, then you're in the desert, and then you know you're all over the place, and so it, that was probably the most fun I've had in a long time um, on a shoot. Okay. Hardest shoot. I, I really can't t <laughs> talk about some of the hardest shoots because it's been like some of the hardest directors I've had to work with. Um, well, I mean, but, I'm right here. No, no, no. Uh, you know, you know. 90% of filmmaking is trouble, troubleshooting and fixing problems, I, I feel like. And so I, I had a director that um, we just weren't clicking, and it was the only time I've ever walked off on set. And I, I dropped the camera, said an unpleasant word or two maybe, and walked off set. And that, that was the first and only time. We, we made up after, but that, that what, was a what, difficult What was it that... The, what was the breaking point for Ron Gonzalez? I, I'm a very patient person. I'm a very patient person. It takes a lot to get me riled up. But when you know you've been on a shoot for three weeks, you're on the road, you're in the desert, um, and you you feel like maybe the you and the director are not seeing the same thing, um, and it, it just kept pushing and pushing, and, and finally I just I you know I couldn't take it anymore, and, and I had to walk off set. We worked it out. Then we realized that. There was a problem anyways with that the shot he was wanting. There was a continuity problem. We had to reshoot the whole thing anyways. But, you know, it all worked out in the end. But it was frustrating. I, and I, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> the, uh, the, but it's not the one I was expecting. You talked about deserts. I thought you were going to talk about the cold one. At the time, doing shooting, yes. There were some, some issues with the set. But I still thought I, I liked the project. I liked what we were doing. Uh, my heart was in it. So I could fight through it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the other shoot, it... it, it, it the, the story wasn't, you know, I wasn't clicking with the story as much, but, you know, I, I liked who I was working with. Um, the, the, other, the other film where I thought the director, you know, later I found the director was talking smack or saying stuff about me <laughs> that weren't true, you know. Right. Um, and so that was, that was difficult. But the shoot, yes, the shoot was brutal, but uh, I believed in the story. I believed in the right. script. And so you fight through those things. And, and afterwards, um, yes, it was a difficult shoot. I, I wanted... I was, I was really hurt, but I wanted the film to be bad. I really did. And then when it premiered and I saw it and I was like, dang it, this is a really good movie. I yeah. really liked it. I'm, I'm, the story was great. The message is great. And so, yeah, I still, uh, that was a long time ago. I still, I, I'm still hurt by it. There's a little scar in my heart for it. But no, it was, it wasn't, um, he wasn't the most difficult director to work with. All right. Well, let's get off the negative for a minute. Yeah. And what about, um, the difference between shooting corporate video and shooting feature films. Mm -hmm. And I know there was a time where you did a ton of feature film work, mm -hmm. and now there's, uh, you're not doing that as much. So for you professionally, why, uh, when do you agree to take on, you know, a feature film versus, you know, doing the corporate or commercial work? Um, well, you know, the market we live in in, in the DFW area is, is a lot of uh, corporate headquarters. So this is a really good, good market for corporate filmmaking. You can make you know, a good living off that. So you know, it's, it, it, you know, for a while there when I, you know, my family was first starting off, I didn't, my needs weren't as, as, as great. And so you know, in this market, it's an independent film market. Budgets aren't great. But there, you, know, you can still live off of independent feature film if you do it. Uh, but um, the more I started shooting, getting more into some, some of the commercial work, um, I started doing some, you know, TV show work, episodic work on, on some travel shows and things like that, where my schedule just wouldn't allow me to take three to four weeks, 
sometimes five weeks to do a feature film. I well, love and, doing. Well, and what's the money difference that we're talking about? On a feature film, are you working a week for it, what you could get on a day at a commercial rate? Yeah, typically on an independent film, I could, I could probably, yeah, work, you know, at least three or four days what I would make one day on a corporate shoot, you know. Um, and so that is a big factor, but also story or script wise, you know, if I don't feel, okay, do I want to be in the trench for a few weeks or four weeks with, you know, a, a, you know, a good, good crew, you know, no less, but, you know, is that worth me time away from my family, time, you know, and right. less money. So I, I, I go back and forth and, and, you know, lately there's, there's just hasn't been a lot of, you know, feature work that, had a budget, you know, you, you reach a certain point and you realize, okay, you can't go back to doing, yeah, you know, when you first go in, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing anything. anything you can and, just to get on the And I still do, magic. I still will do, you know, low budget stuff, uh, for, for no money. If I feel, oh, this is a, right. I think this is a great script, man. I'll, I'll make the time. We'll figure it out and let's do it. I, I really want to do this project. Um, which by the way, I have a movie coming up. I'd like, <laughs> um, let's remember this let's, conversation. Let's remember that. But I, you know, I'm doing a, a new, you know, episodic web series, um, on it's called Vindication, and it was a like a first time director. Really, I mean, he he'd done a, one other project, but I just really liked his style. I really liked uh, the scripts. They're they're four day shoots, and we're done. So it's like can be a long like a long oh, corporate yeah. shoot. So we're doing a you know a one episode series in four days, um, and they're they're really great projects. And so we we've, we've done now three. We're about to shoot the fourth, and I'm hoping it's going to continue. Um, the, there's people out there who want to pick it up and do a whole, you know, whole season of it. So, you know, that I can, you know, th those are great to do because it's four days, you're in, you're out, and you can still have time to do your, you know, the, your bread, breadwinner projects that, that right. keep, keep food on the table and stuff. All right. Well, let's uh, watch the next video. Uh, thanks for staying with us. That's Films 165.